talking Spider in the Attic, directed by Scott Jeffrey and his Jagged Edge Productions, starring Nicola Wright, a uh, Jagged Edge Productions stalwart and uh, you know main kind of actress it seems. And this is kind of a low budget creature feature that focuses on Nicola Wright's character who is a failing uh, radio host and she's hoping to get a, a kind of a new idea for her kind of radio show which is flagging in the ratings and she's getting pressure from her boss to come up with some fresh ideas. So her daughter happens to work in the military and kind of tells her that there's uh, this kind of guy who's doing unethical experiments on animals and the military is kind of keeping an eye on it and what have you and they decide to go and try and get an interview from him. Uh, but when they get there, they just they discover that he has indeed been doing some type of uh, experimentation, and we have now have monstrous spider-like creatures roaming around that have killed him, and now threaten this kind of group of people. What will happen? Well, you're going to have to watch the movie and find out. So let's discuss Spider in the Attic. Jagged Edge Productions, who produce this movie, are essentially the kind of like the uh, Britain's version of the Asylum, churning out kind of low-budget creature features um, with mixed results, shall we say. Um, so what do we think? What can we say that works in this movie's favour? Uh, I do have to say, I think the cast are actually fairly good, in, in, all, in all fairness. Um, they should, they've been in a whole bunch of films, especially kind of like uh, uh, Nicola Wright, who seems to be in more or less every uh, Jagged Edge Productions, so you know they, they do a reasonable job. I don't think the acting is too bad from anyone here. Yeah, there's some cheesy kind of dialogue. It's, it's kind of quickly written stuff, but I didn't think the acting was so bad. And I have to say, I kind of quite like the kind of the set decoration for this kind of this mansion, which has uh, been kind of invaded by the actual kind of spiders. The actual spiders themselves uh, are giving somewhat of a kind of an interesting kind of backstory. Um, you know. We've got everything from kind of alien DNA to Nazi experiments uh, to kind of like more lobster looking kind of spider monsters than actual kind of spiders, if I've been completely honest. But I, you know, there's some interesting kind of mythology building here. And I think the, the I quite like the, the idea here that we have like this family dynamic with our kind of our main characters. So Nicola Wright's character is the kind of this, this radio show host and She's joined by her two daughters, one of her daughter's boyfriends, and a couple of work colleagues. And I just quite like the fact that we have this kind of family unit that actually seem to relatively get on. You sometimes find these that sort of low budget movies, they'll pad out the running time by having kind of inflated kind of drama and things like that. But I actually quite like the fact that this family seemed quite well functioning, which makes kind of a somewhat of a kind of a nice change. The spider designs themselves, um, we'll, we'll talk about it in a, in a kind of a mixed capacity. The designs themselves aren't too bad. The actual, the actual way they have been designed to kind of look not quite spider-like, but more kind of monstrous, if that makes sense. But there is some issues which we're gonna talk about, but the design isn't too bad. And the movie is actually kind of uh, quite kind of, quite a lot going on, quite a few encounters here and there. So it's not a badly paced film. Okay, let's move on to what doesn't work. Let's go back again to the spiders. Okay, so the most obvious thing I think people will complain about when they see this movie is the piece poor CGI. The designs of the spiders are, I think, you know, fairly, fairly good. The problem is, is they kind of look like early 2000s style CGI. Obviously done on a budget, obviously done fairly quickly. They could have looked very much like CGI spiders. I think the main issue here is the way they're kind of put onto the kind of the live action sort of footage because they really just seem like they are, they're not really there. They kind of seem like they're kind of gliding along the ground rather than kind of walking. The environment doesn't kind of, uh, you know, uh, you know, interact with them, so to speak, or react to them going on the floor or anything like that. The kind of the way they move just looks a little bit like it's just a, you know, unnatural in regards to their, it's actually a computer program necessarily. So the actual kind of CGI effects here are 
ultimately quite poor. They kind of look cartoonish. We never really see them in, uh, you know, any real action sequences. A lot of the shots here are static, so we kind of they're easy to kind of like, you know, ultimately make. Um, so yeah, the CGI here isn't brilliant. Let's just be honest. And I think that's probably the first thing that people will say. It is a low budget movie. I still appreciate it. I think the design was okay. But yeah, the, the, the CGI ultimately isn't particularly good. Now what else can we say? The, I think that the premise of how we get to this particular kind of circumstances is rather contrived. I mean, the, the whole concept here of uh, this kind of radio show, you, you, you get just going to someone's house and they kind of discover that there's a body there and things and think, well, what are you going to do with a radio, you know, with a radio show host? I mean, really, I mean, what, what is it you expect to happen? It seems a little bit contrived. They kind of, they're breaking into someone's house. It all seems a little bit like, would, would people really do this? Um, and, the, and the, obviously they're discovering, you know, creatures and stuff yet there. They're not immediately, there's two, en we see that there's two entrances to this house, a front door and a back door. Um, and we see that there's a spider outside one of the doors, but they never go out the other door. Things like this, it's just a very kind of like, a, a typical kind of slap together B movie where the logic doesn't really matter. It's just kind of like the basic, uh, the basic kind of principles of, uh, let's try and keep the people in the house. Of course, there's no cell reception because there's a storm and things like this. People find an excuse to kind of, go off on their own and stuff like that. Uh, there's instances here where someone's getting attacked by a spider and it just sort of jumps on there and like someone else will sort of see it happen and go, oh well, well you're dead and it's just like, well we don't, you know, they're just kind of getting like bitten by a spider and they just go, oh yeah, sorry, they're not dead at the moment. Be, no one tries to like kick the spider off or anything like that. So there's lots of kind of silly moments in the movie. And I think, um, although I didn't mind the acting from our kind of central cast, for example, our Doctor character um, isn't particularly good. Um, and, you know, some fare better than others. I think Nicola Wright, I say, is a, a seasoned pro at this point, but um, for the most part, the acting was okay, though. I will say that. It, there's no real surprises in regards to um, any plot developments here. It's kind of like, more or less, a kind of standard sort of monster movie with you know, just a kind of excuse to kind of get the people trapped in a house at the end of the day. So, it's it's not a good movie, but I have seen worse. I, th I still think this has an element of enjoyability to it. Um, I think, you know, it, it is relatively kind of well-paced. I quite like the characters, and I'm a little bit more forgiving than on, on the CGI than maybe some, because I watch so many kind of bad B-movies, I don't expect it necessarily to be, you know, top quality necessarily so I don't let it bother me all that much but like I will say that some people will be bothered by it overall for me I'm going to give this one a four out of ten which might seem like a low mark but it's it's just below average for a kind of a straight to DVD kind of horror movie not bad but obviously it is below average have you seen it what did you think of it leave me a comment and I shall look forward to seeing you next time bye for now